Ron, thanks. A criminal investigation is now underway into the deaths of five patients at a Hollywood, Florida nursing home. It is believed the deaths are heat related. The nursing home lost power during Hurricane Irma and there was no air conditioning. There are still millions of people without power in Florida. And as Amy Wattis reports, more Duquesne light crews are headed south to help restore that power. Millions of people are still without power in the south, so 40 more Duquesne Light employees from Woods Run are headed to Florida to help out. The electric power industry's response has become one of the largest power restoration efforts in U.S. history. They're off yet again to help Floridians regain power after Hurricane Irma ravaged the state. All the utilities have to get together and pull their resources during times like this. Uh, there isn't enough people on site in Florida for this type of disaster. Dave James is one of the 40 Duquesne Light employees who volunteered to head to the Sunshine State to help Florida power and light. This isn't the first time he's stepped up during a natural disaster. He says before you do the work, you have to make sure you take care of the necessities. You have to get fuel, you have to find food and you have to find beds during a disaster and that's usually the hardest part and then you do your work after you can take care of the logistics. James says he and his crew will be staged down of Lake City, Florida, which is the north central part of the state, but they'll be ready to go wherever they're needed. It's probably going to be uh, standard storm work, uh, trees done, poles done, wires done. Um, this will be a little different because it's in Florida. 25 Duquesne light crews headed to Florida on Monday, and dozens of crews from West Penn Power are there too. Georgia is also dealing with hundreds of thousands of outages. Officials with Duquesne Light say this has become the largest restoration effort in the history of the electric utility industry. There are about 60,000 workers that have mobilized from across the country and as far north as Canada to come down and help restore power to all of those residents in those two states. Crews anticipate being in Florida for the next two weeks. Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News. And we will have the latest on Irma coming up later in this newscast. Also, for complete coverage of the situation in Florida, you can go to KDKA.com.